Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the question how you can connect a smartwatch Android Wear 2.0 or Wear OS smartwatch uh, to a new phone. Here I have this old phone, here I have the new phone, both are Android. Here you can see it's connected. I mean, that's the normal Wear OS app, Wear OS here, and I've opened it here. I mean, here it's still connected. I've been trying everything I have, even disconnected it here, and I was searching in the Bluetooth for this device, but it couldn't find it. I mean, that's anyway not the way how we connect it. We co connect it here with the app and not with the Bluetooth settings. It seems to be impossible that they see each other, find each other as long as it's somehow connected to this old phone. Even when we reset the Bluetooth connection, everything, it's not possible. And I've been doing some research and it really looks like even in 2022, 23 or so, probably even in 100 years, it won't be possible. It seems that Google is not willing to implement this into Wear OS that we can switch from an old phone to a new phone. Every other $20 watch has no problem to do that. But with the Wear OS watch, it's a problem. This has been always the problem since Android Wear came out. As far as I know, I have always been struggling. There seemed to be a way or there has been a way uh, when you go to the developer options and then you can do something. If you want to Google for that, uh, you can try that. For me, it looked way too difficult and risky to do that. I don't know if you could even destroy the watch when you do something wrong. You have to do some very technical instructions on a command prompt that seem to be too uh, risky for me. So the thing what you have to do is to go down here, go to the advanced settings, unpair the watch, which means factory reset watch and removes it from this app. So I'm doing this now here in live. That's absolutely crazy. That's insane. It shouldn't be like that, but it looks like it is. So I can close the thing here on this side. And so let's see if we can connect it now here. Yeah, it's still deleting everything. Really nice. I love it. Makes totally sense in 2022-23. I've really no clue who is working on Wear OS. I don't know what they are doing but they are definitely not doing their job. And so it's absolutely no surprise that everybody is moving to the Apple Watch. So I go English. Okay, confirm here. And now let's see if it can finally find the new phone, new app. I'm going back here again. Let's see. No, I'm not sending diagnostic report because it's useless anyway. So I agree. And now we have found it. Yeah, okay. And now it's connecting, pairing, and so we can go from here and spend the rest of the week setting up all the apps and settings which I already had here. Thanks so much. Yeah, okay, it's finally connected. I don't have to go any further from here, but uh, yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, no improvement in 2022, and I can already tell you it won't be any improvement 2023, 24, 25, 26, 27, whatsoever. You don't have to look for newer videos. It's basically useless. And yeah, that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.